Hello everyone, and thanks for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Moko Lover, and let's continue playing some Arts of Iron 4's The Union of Britain. So, at the moment, I'm recording this very early. Um, normally, I never, ever record this early, but, uh, yeah, this is still before I actually left for a trip I had to take. So, regardless, let's keep playing, and we will invade Norway in this episode as we watch both the Poles and the French just not winning oh the disappearance of the British royal family as yet another week has passed since the last public appearance of any member of the British royal family rumors abound about their likely fate the government the government has refused to comment on the matter entirely and has begun cracking down on any media reports that would bring attention to the issue. The government's silence is only more noticeable in light of anonymous accounts by certain individuals who claim to have been members of the royal family's household, speaking of seeing the royal family be forcibly removed from Buckingham Palace by masked men some weeks ago. <clears throat> it unfortunately, though, had to be done. Well, that's very interesting. Very, very interesting. How many more days until we can go to war with Norway? Not bad. About 34 days. Post then, it'll be on to Sweden. And then maybe, probably not Finland, but perhaps Denmark. We will do whatever we can, oops, to ensure the safety and liberation of our fellow workers. Wow, Poles, you are really trying to hold off those Soviets, aren't you? Germany Operation Tannenbaum, which would be good. A little bit of a distraction for the Germans and the Italians against the Swiss, but they don't have that much manpower. Oh, God. Oh, the French actually have manpower again. Hmm. That's good, because the last time we saw, they did actually didn't have any sort of manpower. Good. Keep making more of those di divisions. Uh, let's see, tanks. Our tank divisions are looking not terrible. Especially since we converted all those cavalry divisions to regular tank divisions. Tank brigades. We have w two battalions of tanks. Alright. Not bad. Could be worse. Could be much, much worse. Resource-wise, we definitely need some more chromium. Questions, motives of Norway. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, let's lower our inputs of oil at the moment. So we can get a little bit more chromium. Uh, let's see. Br Melee People's Republic. And since they're not our puppet, because they were at one point, I might as well support them. Let's get a little bit more chromium, and that'll definitely help out more of our production of tanks. We're doing it for the good of the revolution focus, and... We have a better quarter pounders now. Very good. Armor, not bad, not bad. 1939, getting close to 1940, of course. Let's see. Extraction, more fuel, rubber. Could I use more rubber? Actually, we're okay on rubber. I mean, we are importing some. How much are we importing? Three? Ooh, that's not very good. Hmm, extraction, fuel, rubber, fuel from oil, 109 days, it's not bad, versus 109 days. Uh, fuel from refineries. Well, let's go ahead and get some, <clears throat> excuse me, get some rubber. Either one would have been fine to take, so. And get some better artillery. Very good. Very, very good. How many days would it take to go invade Sweden? How many days would it take? A hundred days. At this point, it's probably better just to finish off Norway and then immediately justify as soon as we are ready to go. Support companies. Uh, we could do this. Oh, naval doctrine. Why not? Carrier organization, sortie efficiency, sub destroyer. Detection or destroyer sub detection escort efficiency. Uh, let's get better carrier efficiency since we have so many of them already. 
Hmm. All right then. Seeing as when we do invade, we really won't have any sort of air cover. Not too much, at least. Do we have... We do have another 100 planes. That's good. 100 heavy fighters, and then... Inter How do I have interwar fighters? Heavy fighters. Carrier fighters. Oh, yeah. We Now we can get better cruisers. That's good. Yeah, we still have radar one only. Yep, pretty good. Awesome. Naval bombers. Oh, yeah, we're making some naval bombers. Awesome. Uh, we need more... We need more tactical bombers, though. We definitely need that. And... Let's deploy. Hopefully the French will hold out for even longer. Uh, don't do that yet. Nice range. Actually, I'll keep them up here so it's a little easier for our planes to help our convoys out when they are making it across the river. And by river, of course, I mean to Norway. Hmm. <clears throat> you know what? Let's get some more fuel from refineries. Let's do that. And then, pilot exercises. You train. You train, and you stop training. I doubt this will really help us out very much. Oops. But whatever. <clears throat> see, air consumption a day. Storm. Eh. Oh god, and there went the fall of Paris. Uh, actually. Actually. Go ahead and just hold. So the last block of the French resistance in Paris were mopped up today, and the city is now firmly under Italian, Italian control. El Duce was hurriedly flown in to participate in the victory parade on the Champs-Élysées. Champs-Élysées? My French, French pronunciation is very terrible. Riding in front of the marching troops on a white stallion. Wow. During the celebrations, he compared the current campaign in France with Caesar's conquest of Gaul and promised that it was only the beginning of Italy's ascent to greatness. Wow, then. All right, then. <clears throat> Got those divisions there. Let's see. Fascist demagogue. Yeah, we don't want any sort of fascist demagogue for us. Construction worker benefits. Weekly war support. Well, then. Well, then. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see. We can't do this because these were, these were upper class people, so all we get is more defense. Chief of Navy, Naval Speed, Attack from Carriers, Capital Ship Armor, Attack. That's just pretty good. I'll probably do w Dudley Pound. Attrition. Oh, Infantry Attack and Defense. Uh, yeah, I'm doing this one. Just because they will be very useful when we invade Norway. So you got to die. Doing pretty well in training. Go ahead. You guys can stop. As well, as well as all my British patrols here. Cool. Go ahead and repair if you need to. And we are getting ready to invade next. Otto, are you... Oh, we want to build these up, don't we? Subs, yeah, stop that. Put these guys in... Where do I want them? Was there a Fleet necessarily where I wanted them or not? Strike force. Well, let's see. We have enough here. However, we have three carriers. We need just one more. I think we have enough battleships for this fleet. Patrols. I could add another battleship to each one of these patrol fleets. Eh, this already has a battle cruiser. I think that's okay. We could probably. Actually, these are already made out to be pretty darn well. Hmm. If I'm having another battleship, I want to put it in the patrol fleets. Because we already have a strike force that's pretty darn good, I would say. You know what? Screw it. Just put them in the British strike force. Fleet task force one. Let's see. 
and then we'll swap out the older ships with these new ships and the old battleships will go to the patrol fleets that's what we're gonna do I think that's make that makes the most sense and there we go actually what we could do just in case go ahead and stop trading for now but you stop that uh, you guys make it over to Lee Warden and then you guys will help defend this area against the Belgians the Germans the any sort of Europeans that we don't like type of group oh Luxembourg is back wow and that would be good let us have let's see, the British patrol fleet which will kill our stockpile of oil to do this we don't need uh, actually doing that that's okay that'll be good since we have so many of these groups send out the subs convoy rating for uh, not that but here to here those two and then the British strike force not down there but over here here there you go that's gonna kill our oil production but that's okay uh, heavy fighters do Eastern North Sea if you can any other planes pilot exercises fighters 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 whatever uh, close air support heavy fighter here we go stop doing that and do the same area Plus air support. Da, 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 da. Oh yeah, tactical bombers definitely have those. Help us out with southern Norway. Give our guys a few days to go ahead. We got a couple free dockyards. Awesome. We could use maybe a few more carriers or, I mean, convoys. Uh, subs, subs. We can make more destroyers, cruisers, heavy ships. I want more heavy ships. Huh. Hmm. Heavy ships, what do we need that for? Heavy ships are to make the biggest navy in the freaking world. But it's almost 1940, I don't want to make 1940 heavy ships. Submarines actually might be a way to go, so, we, so people can't get more supplies in. But I could use more destroyers overall. Destroyers are good for shipping lanes. Hmm... Produce a ton of these destroyers, but I will if using destroyers for convoy escorts could easily get blown up by enemy ships, and that does cost a ton of oil. I'm thinking just do a lot of subs. You know what? Here we'll do this, this, and that. Actually, yeah, I want more light cruisers. Light cruisers are so good in this game, super, super, super good. All right. Okay, so then Belgium was just annexed, Luxembourg was annexed, Romania and Greece were both, oh god, annexed. That's so not good. Alright, go ahead and go to war. Alright, let's do it. And all of our allies, literally, our allies, all in Africa, oh man, not that many in Africa. Uh, British Malaya, or I guess, Soviet Malayan Republic, or what is this? Soviet Islands of Indonesia had joined us. Ah, what a great group of people. Oh, look how much oil we don't have. Portions of Africa are supporting us, and this is actually a lot better than I thought it would be. Because Italy just went straight down south. That's not bad. Italy, of course, has Ethiopia. The German Reich just took colonial French Africa in the western portion of Africa with a little portion down here. That's actually not too bad. That's a lot better than I thought it would be. Oh. Oh, that's not good. We lost nine subs, or nine convoys. Uh, give you guys an extra little push. Nice. Awesome. I'll take them out in Bergen. That'll be good. As long as we win. Awesome. Nice. Good job, guys. Oh, they weren't even down here. Okay. This was the easiest naval invasion I think I've done in a, quite a while, minus the one we did against the Netherlands. 
minus that one. Just go ahead and hold here for, for now. Let's see. You all... Well, escort convoys now. Since we invaded, we don't need any extra sort of naval support. You come down here, link up with the rest of the soldiers, and then we will throw a bunch of soldiers... Okay, Switzerland, bye-bye. Throw a whole bunch of soldiers into the mix. The rest of the military here. The rest of the army group. Awesome. Throw everyone else in here. Oh. There you go. Alright, if we need to produce more things, what would we produce? Well, we need more... Convoys, but we have military factories. Oh, yeah, do that. We're gonna need a lot of those boys. And let's see, standing by. Come here and then invade. Ah, uh, that's hmm. Let's go ahead and increase that by two. Not bad. I do have coffee here, so it's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh oh, what do we have down here? Sinking some subs. I like it. I like it a lot. Nice. Awesome. And another infantry. Oh, we lost an infantry division that was moving to this area. All right, that makes that makes sense. That actually makes a lot of sense. Uh, let's see. Can we advance at all yet? I'm gonna wait for our, probably our most of our military to arrive. How many divisions do they have? They have nine to fifteen. Not bad, not bad. But for us, oh, they are trying to strike some of my convoys getting over here. Well, they're gonna lose a lot of subs that way. Go ahead if you can. Just be careful. Not, don't be super aggressive, Miles Dempsey. But oh, you wow, you got enough experience already as a naval invader. Prep time, amphibious invasion speed. Let's see. Extra marine supply grace. Naval liaison. Liaison. It's too early in the morning for me to do this. Regardless. Not bad. Really, not bad at all. Oh, we will be out of oil within a month. In a month. Wow. Go figure. Ooh, awesome. Mass motorization. More infantry organization. Next, we will get mechanized offensives. Awesome. Oh, and there goes Switzerland. Oh, for the good of the revolution. Nice. Now we're going to get a little bit more manpower. And more consumer goods. Let's see. Anything else over here? Air rearmament. Britannia rules the waves. Battleship focus. Oh, what's this? Expand the repair yards. That's pretty good. Not bad. ASW stuff. Vanguard. Hmm. Shipping routes. Well, we can't do that. And we have fully decolonized, and we don't need to even do three nation solution, because it's not our problem anymore. So we can just you can always just ignore that. So this is where we will lie. We could follow Moscow and get a little bit more stability, or we could have the British Communist Alternative, which is what we are going to do for five more stability. Anyways, we will remove the Allies faction and create the British Communist Alternative. Rather than side with Moscow, we will start our own cooperation of communist states. The British are second to none on the world scene, and we will not bow to Moscow, not now, nor ever. Very good. The world will know that we honestly have the best communism. My god, Poland, you are fierce without the Germans attacking you. And, of course, the Soviets are still suffering from officers' purges, but happy 1940, everyone. Happy 1940. Oh, the Poles are out of manpower. Pretty typical. Oh, just saying. Uh, let's see. Yeah, not bad, guys. Not bad. I could tell you guys to go maybe a little bit more ham, since uh, I doubt the Norwegians have a lot more manpower. They have a little bit, not much. And they definitely have less divisions than what they started with, because they started with up to 15. We cut that, that down to about three-fifths of what it originally was. So, overall, I think we're doing a great job. Oh, you're still training? Oh, oh this is extra destroyers that we have. That's fine. Go home. Go home. So we got 19 extra destroyers. I'm not sure what to do with. Actually, that's a complete lie. I know exactly what to do with them. We have 8 extra subs. Actually, let's go ahead and combine these groups here. That'll be good. Make our subs a little bit more powerful. 
We have two destroyers, two more light cruisers, not bad. How many days would that take to do that? 17 days isn't bad. Go ahead and both of you do that. If you can, of course. Let's see. Convoys. Uh, do that, do that. Yeah. Yeah. We make destroyers fast enough anyways. Yeah, go ahead and do that. That's fine with me. Very nice. See, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, tell them to go ham. Miles Dempsey is turning out to be an extremely good general. Holy crap. Yeah, not bad. Oh, there you go. Very good. It's just a matter of time before they all capitulate. Uh, that being said, I don't think I need my subs here to do this. Go ahead and repair as well. Just kind of all come to... There. Just so that you don't suck up all my oil. Or fuel. Fuel, that's what it is. That's... And there goes... Switzerland, and hope you join the Axis. That's pretty much expected. Wow. That actually looks like pretty nice borders, to be honest. That's very nice borders. Now we want to make sure that we're very friendly with the Germans. Uh, we don't want any war with you Germans. Come on now. No, no, no. Ah, uh, yeah, just stay down there for now. Oh, boy. That's not good. I can't imagine fighting the Germans by myself. No longer get the support of trade unions. Well, that's... That was bound to happen eventually. So. And we're, I definitely still want these land forts here. Just in case the Germans might attack us. At least we got a good holding here. In what was the Netherlands. But go ahead and keep making some... I need... I still need more dockyards. I have to have more dockyards. And... Really, military factories are... An absolute must as well. And I will need better radar. But... That is not a high priority at the moment. 16 days until we're completely out of fuel. Sounds great to me. I don't think our infantry divisions use fuel at all. Yeah, they don't, which is good. Ooh, ah, oh, better radar, good. Happy 1940, everyone. Let's get better research speeds. A plus 8%? Holy crap, that's a, that's really good. Plus 8% more research? Holy crap. I was not expecting that. East Anglica will do you. And then we'll do that one up there, do that one over there, do that one over here. Good, 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 good. Come on. Just, uh, oh wait, we forgot to do, or I forgot to do, this. 65 days, that's pretty darn good, not gonna lie. Uh, wait, whoa, 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 the Empire of Japan joined the Midamores, the Empire of Japan declared war on the Soviet Union, oh my gosh. But they're already at war with China. Wow. Okay. Very interesting. I don't think Japan will win this war if they're not advancing that far into China. And, uh... They... Ching China? You're here? You're... In the Midamores faction as well. You're still a puppet of Japan. Okay, then. Wow. Just wow. Ensign Kyung joined the Comintern. Well... Poland, I'm surprised you're still holding out, but good luck. Oh, nice, we got another group here. Question, sovereignty, very good. Very, very good. How much longer will it take for them to capitulate? And China, oh, good God, that's a huge common turn. You know, I wanted to take, take them out too, but uh, that's a lot of enemies, and... We need a little bit more oil. Let's see. Ooh. Lower that by one and give me a little bit more fuel. Uh, I don't mind helping out the Soviets since, you know, if we can support communist brethren who may or may not agree with us on everything, that's okay. You know, you can't agree on everything, but it will maybe backstab them in the future. You never know. <clears throat> Anyways. Uh, yeah, let's get better destroyers. Awesome. How many more days will it take until these guys are fully gone? That's my question. Narvik. Yeah, did we kill off all these guys already? I guess we did. Bangladesh and Pakistan have signed a white peace. I thought they already did. Yep, I guess not. Uh, let's see. Actually, everyone here just hold. 
and hold since you oh the British Communist alternative plus five percent stability and we have our own faction now now we can enforce decolonization which will ask everyone who has colonies to decolonize or reach out across the channel and Union of Britain invites the French commune to the British Communist alternative well since France has already been annexed um, I don't think that's really gonna work French Communist exists we'll probably have to go with British decolonization but if the Germans release the French like Vichy France which I doubt they will we might be able to ally with the Vichy French who you know maybe fascist but that could be a potential enemy against the Germans which I don't think will happen uh, let's see uh, we can ask Italy Portugal Germany and three others to decolonize hmm I'm gonna wait on that one for the next episode and let's go ahead and get um, air defense motorized armor tech better infantry equipment production let's go with naval rearmament so we get more naval experience and three more naval dockyards however this is pretty much all the time that we have for today so why am I in Alexandria why are you there uh, I guess I never moved you huh regardless though uh, I have to go so with that in mind guys I hope you enjoyed this episode we haven't quite taken out all of Norway yet but that is definitely our next step as I invite Ireland back into my faction again god dang we gotta redo all this well anyways I'll do this between this episode and the next thank you very much for watching I'll see you tomorrow leave a like if you like the video subscribe if you're new and I of course will be back to normal scheduling starting tomorrow thanks for watching